I can tell you all are still really stuffed from eating all that turkey, mashed potatoes, and pie from the other day. And you don't want to get out of bed. It's, you certainly don't want to go out and go Black Friday shopping. Heck no. That would be dumb. So instead, what you want to do is sit in your bed, kick back, relax, and just enjoy watching Artie school, that means world tour, another five levels of the professional rank today. Unless you live not in America, in which case you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Thanksgiving was yesterday, and you eat a lot of food on Thanksgiving, and you generally don't want to move the day after Thanksgiving. And I'm recording this actually on Thanksgiving, because I don't want to record it uh, the day after, because I'm going to be, oh, so uh, we're going back to Lemmy's World Tour. <laughs> oh, the Jabba no Waba. Anyhow, that intro aside, we are on level 21 of the professional rank. The lion sleeps tonight. Ooh, I like the look of this level. You've got the beach theme, the outdoor theme, and the updated tree tile set. Nice. It's by the tokens. We can kill two lemmings in this one. Wow, looks fairly simple. Wait, wait, what? Wait. Okay, I can already see, like, the only... Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'm... Is it really this easy? Wait. Okay, I'm sorry. Why was that not in the noisemaker rank? <laughs> For once we have a level play in this theme where it's incredibly easy. I spent longer on the intro to the episode than I did on that level. Holy cow. I mean, I like the architecture, and that's like a really simple level. I, that would be great for... But one of the first two ranks? Not the third rank. Holy cow, that was way too easy for that. Well, we'll move on. Level 22, Samba de Janeiro by Bellini. We got 30 lemmings, 30 to be saved. Once again, I suck at geography, so I don't really know what that flag is. Is that the Brazilian flag? I don't know. Okay, another beach level. I love that pretty background. That's really nice. And I like the cross. That's also a good touch. Oh, fun! So that's one way of left arrows, and I believe that's... No, that's not steel. Oh! Okay, the rock is a background object. So we're gonna need maybe all five platformers for there? I don't know. Is he gonna survive that? He is! Cool! So we can bash from all the way down there, which is nice. So we're gonna crank up that release rate, man. So they're all conveniently going to be trapped through there. You, however, are going to build up here. Wait, no. No, 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 no. We need the basher from the bottom. We're going to use the fencer. This is going to be a little trickier. Oh, really? Okay, this is actually going to be a bit cumbersome to get through, I suppose. Well, for starters, I'm not really sure what the, uh, what the glider is supposed to be used for. Okay, we can use at least two platformers here. If we want. Hmm. So getting past this tree is going to be the tricky part. I'm thinking maybe we should save our... Uh, maybe we should save our... Uh, Basher or something. Or about our fencer. 
Because, for example, can we do this and just go over the top? We can. Nice. Actually, let's not make him a glider unless we have to. Because once you assign him a glider, it takes a lot of power away, whereas the, uh, the process of choosing when you can assign the glider is nice and powerful. Alright, now I believe we can just platform and then bash the rest out. Now the question is, is he going to stop? Actually, it doesn't even matter. I got the Builder to spare. So I'm not really sure what the swimmer and the glider were used for. But I mean, that feels fairly intended. Like, I didn't do any, like, really hacky things. I literally just used the terrain to my advantage. So, maybe that's an acceptable alternate solution. I don't know. Let's see what Strato says about that. That's at least much more in tune to the difficulty of this rank than the last level was. We're on level 23, the streets of London. Oh, this looks like shipping out to Boston, and I am so excited about that. This is by Ralph McTell. We can kill three lemmings here. Well, I at least know the Union Jack flag when I see it. Okay, so we've got a hatch on this side, and a hatch on the other side, I believe. Yeah, we got hatches on both sides. I believe they're both safe. And, <laughs> oh, I approve. So that's the Highland exit, but it fits Britain so well. It's the classic red telephone booth, a.k.a. the entrance to the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> and using the Steel Lollipop for Big Ben is just fantastic. Or actually, I'm sorry, Queen Elizabeth Tower. Big Ben is the clock inside it. Free of everything, so this is going to be interesting. Okay, so they... They're in a pretty good position. One basher will get them out. So, they, And they're just penned in right from the start. So let's focus on these guys, shall we? It's nice use of the Egyptian tile set. Oh, and there's a fur to hatch. Okay. So where are we absolutely going to need our builders? Oh, there's like no gaps. Oh, sweet. This looks like an open-ended solution. Excellent. I feel like bashers are going to be our commodity skill. And it's so ironic the music is London Bridge is falling down. Beautiful. This is where it's going to get a little tricky. But nothing I can't handle. Really? That's too high for them to get up. Interesting. This is a job for Bomberman. I really like these open-ended, like, X of everything levels. They're so nice. I will say... Actually, you know what? I was gonna say too long. Like, there's so much architecture that nothing happens on. But I'm actually okay with that. Because you can literally just fast-forward or skip through it. It's pretty simple. All right. They can just mine out, and then these guys, I believe, can just dig first, because that's going to be a splat fall. And then bash out. Booyah! Beautiful level, great solution. I really like it. And here come, here they come, a conquering. <laughs> we even saved an extra, I mean. I like that level. I mean, not quite as good as shipping out to Boston, and also I would say that was way easier than shipping out to Boston. But, hey, that was still very fun. I hope we can see more levels like that in the future. Level 24, Mal ist nur einmal ein Jahr, by Peter Wackel. I suck at German, I'm sorry. Oh, yay, there's going to be a cloner involved. And this level looks really familiar. Have we had... Is this a repeat level? 
Mallorca is only once a year. No wonder these lemmings are so eager to make it to the water as fast as possible. I feel like there have been at least a few beach levels I've seen thus far that are like this. Okay, so they are safe. They are absolutely not safe. And it's a one of everything level. Sweet. So let's see. Ways to stop the enemies from... Er, the enemies? Ways to stop the lemmings from dying. Well. Okay, I can, I can already see we're going to need to platform and clone on that beach ball. These guys are safe. They're just on a wandering detour until they reach here. So we're going to need one of these guys as fast as possible to help out. Um, so from what it looks like, I believe we're going to have to do a little something like this. Oh, really? <laughs> That's splat height, apparently? That's not good, is it? Hmm. We could bash through that. Potentially. Yeah, that might save time if we bash through. Not sure if that actually will, but it might. Let's make him a glider so he can get a little shortcut. Beautiful. That was a nice level. I actually really like the levels where you've got one hatch that's just kind of heading towards danger and then the other hatch has to stop him, or you get a lemming out of that hatch, hatch to stop him. Like it's hero time from original lemmings. And another nice beach level! I find it so hard to make nice beach levels. But, Strato, you're doing a great job. Holy cow, very nice. So I believe we have one level left for the day, and we have 15 minutes. Uh-oh, error message. Lemmings World Tour can't create compatible DC. And it just quit out. Okay, well... We're on a space lem came traveling. Okay, well now it works. I think it was because the previous level had... S well, no, the previous level was a beach level. That only had one tile set. I was going to say the previous level had too many tile sets, and this one had too many different tile sets. I don't know. Well, if Nepster watches this, maybe he can tell me what the error message means. But, no harm, no done. Uh, level 25, A Space Lem Came Traveling by Chris DeBurr. We have 61 lemmings, we can kill four of them. Why 61? That seems very odd. Oh, it's because we've got the helper lemming on top, who's Santa Claus. Whoa, that looks crazy. <laughs> Did you make those graphics, Strato? That's pretty awesome. And there's a spaceship on a cabin in... Not the woods. Cabin in the snow. Okay, so there's a helper lemming, so obviously we've got to use him for something noble. Mm. <gasps> oh, oh, please be the correct. I see a solution that is potentially really, really awesome. Let's go. And I only hope that it's the actual solution. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to make this climb. Well, no. Okay, maybe that won't work. It's a shame. Oh, it would be great. It would be so great if we could have a cloner on this level. So what I'm thinking... Hmm. 
this side. This side's got to go up a little higher. And I see that sand from my underwater tile set. That's really nice. Thank you. Alright. Well, this side can just fence up in here. What we need is a way for them to get up to the top. <laughs> There's also fire in the way. <laughs> Take this candelabra to Mother George. I did that because I wanted my show to go out with a bane. <laughs> okay, well, we need a blocker at the bottom of one hatch. So we can do that. Now, a bomber will stop them from coming back on the other side. Because we're going to want the blocker for up here. So what I'm thinking is... Maybe not that early, but you get you get the idea. Actually, wait. This could work. Yeah, let's do something like that, and then we can fence up through here. Oh, shoot. Okay, actually, we do need to mine that early. Actually, no, we can still make that work. So I don't think that's going to be enough for them to hop up through. No, it's not. All right. But what we have is we have another basher. And we will not be needing that other basher. We also have plenty of builders. We basically have an unlimited amount. Wait a second. Nope. Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that's just enough for them to get up through. Excellent. So now we're going to build up to this side and fence up, and they'll all be able to go up here. And if we do this, bada beam, bada boom. Now they're all up here. Now what we're going to do? It's cool. He's just one. He's gonna start building. Get one lemming behind. And what we could have done is we could have just done builder block before the next one came and then build again. Well, that was a really nice level. I really like that. That was actually worth the error message. I love using terrain in cool ways, and who knows, maybe that was unintended. Although the tricks I used on that level were kind of advanced, so that's that actually might be a little tricky for the professional rank. But hey, five levels in under 20 minutes. That's pretty great. We're going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope that I hope that you digest all that turkey from yesterday. Tune in next time. For, oh, I only just now realized it. That's a pun because it's a music pack. Tune in next time. <laughs> Anyhow, if you uh, visit us next time, we'll be tackling five more professional levels. And I hope to see you then. Until we meet again, my friends, happy Thanksgiving, have a great day, and God bless.